Hello, everyone, and welcome to the award ceremony for the eighth annual Maine 4-H Public Speaking Tournament. My name is Carla. I'm 4-H staff from Hancock County, and I will be your host for this exciting event. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that this is live streaming in three different places on Facebook Live, YouTube, and Zoom webinar. If you experience any technical issues during the live stream, try switching to a different streaming service. If you are joining us via Zoom webinar or Facebook, we encourage you to use the reactions to show your support. So raise your hand in Zoom webinar and send likes and loves on Facebook. I'm now going to turn off my video so that you can focus on the rest of the ceremony we have prepared for you. We're kicking it off today with a vid video compilation celebrating the youth presenters to give you a window into what yesterday's tournament felt like, followed by a message from our Dean of Cooperative Extension, Dr. Hannah Carter, and after her message, we encourage everyone to stand together to recite, recite the 4-H pledge. Here we go. Hello, my name is Scott. I'm 12 years old. I've been a member of Glee of Maine 4-H for three years. I've been 4-H for a year. I'm six years old. And today I'm going to teach you how to plant a strawberry seed. We want to congratulate all of the 4-H youth who participated in the 8th Annual Public Speaking Tournament and the second ever virtual version of this tournament. 31 4-Hers from across Maine gave presentations yesterday to a panel of judges and a small audience of their peers and selected guests. This topic today is about returns. So, and you may be wondering, what is chocolate zucchini cake? So what you need is seaweed. They broke boundaries and jumped into new territory by figuring out how to deliver an effective presentation through a screen. To all of the 4-Hers joining us, this weekend we watched you seize an opportunity to practice this important 21st century skill, an experience that will benefit you for years to come. You are resilient, you are inspiring, and you are the future. Our goal for this award ceremony is to recognize each participant for their efforts in the 2021 tournament. The ceremony will include two short video messages followed by the announcements of awards, top scores, and the members of the 2021 Communications Science Team. This chicken looks funny, and it is. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Maddie and I'm homeschooled. Oh my gosh, there's no possible way that you're homeschooled. You just, you just seem too normal for that. Thank you. Um, how do you know this much about volcanoes? The question was, how do I know this much about volcanoes? These are two that I've made before. Oh, um, and that's how they turned out. In summary, today I've talked about what is coding, coding languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Scratch, who can code, asking the experts, coding into the future, my skills learned, and my sources. Are there any more questions? If there are no more questions, this concludes my presentation. We will begin the ceremony just as we would if we were all together with the pledge. Please join 4-H's Summit and Scout from Androscoggin, and Sagahawk County in the 4-H pledge. Hi, my name is Scout. Hi, my name is Summit. And we, we are, are members, members of Glee of Maine. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world.
30 years ago, I participated in my last main 4-H public speaking tournament. In some ways, it feels like yesterday. In all ways, I still feel the same way as I did stepping up to that podium 30 years ago, as I do virtually speaking to you today. Hello, I am Hannah Carter, proud 4-H alum from Aroostook County and current Dean of the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. Thank you to all our participants in this year's public speaking tournament. Public speaking is hard enough, but to do it in this virtual environment is even tougher. And as a judge for this event, I was blown away by your efforts. Little did I know 30 years ago, as I was awaiting the judges' decisions during my last public speaking tournament, the impact what I learned about how to do an effective public presentation would have on my life and on my career. Every time I have to be in front of an audience to do something like this, I begin like many of you did. What is the purpose of my words? To demonstrate, to teach, to inform? Who is my audience? And by the way, my favorite audience is always filled with 4-H'ers. How am I gonna get the audience's attention? I can't believe it's been 30 years from my last tournament. Hopefully that captured your attention as well. So the skills you are learning here are ones that you will have for a lifetime. And you may never know where they will take you. Maybe someday one of you will become Dean like I did. I wanna congratulate all of today's winners, but know that I think you all are champions. You took a risk to participate. You, for some of you, this doesn't come naturally, but you challenged yourself to do it anyway. I encourage all of you to continue to try new things and push your boundaries as you never know where these things will take you. I also wanna thank all the family and friends for your support, not just in being here today, but for all you do to encourage and support these participants throughout their 4-H career. I'm hopeful that we will all be together in person for next year's event. Until then, keep being awesome and continue to do great things in 4-H. Hey. Congratulations. Now we will begin with the announcement of awards for each public speaking participant in the tournament. I will present them by age division, starting with Clover Buds, ages five to eight, then juniors, ages nine to 13, then seniors, ages 14 to 18. Starting with the Clover Buds. Zoe B. All About Horses, an illustrated talk from the Aldermere Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln Counties. Green Ribbon. Ira D. Making Maple Syrup, a demonstration from the Cobscook Currents 4-H Club in Washington County. Green Ribbon. Caroline D, Caring for Ferrets, an illustrated talk from the Nature Kids 4-H Club in York County. Green Ribbon. Charlotte D, Caring for Cats, an illustrated talk from the Nature Kids 4-H Club in York County. Green Ribbon. Hunter D, Caring for Dogs, an illustrated talk from the Nature Kids 4-H Club in York County. Green Ribbon. Samuel F, How to Plant a Strawberry Seed, a demonstration by independent member from Washington County. Green Ribbon. Grace H. How to Make Gimbap, an illustrated talk from the Paca Pals 4 H Club in Aroostook County. Green Ribbon. Audra L. Chocolate Zucchini Cake 
a demonstration from the Nature Kids 4-H Club in York County. Green Ribbon. And now moving on to the juniors. Isabel B. Breeds of Chickens, an illustrated talk from the Aldemir Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red Ribbon. Hayden C. Snowmobiling, an illustrated talk from the Aldemir Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red Ribbon. Natalie C. Grooming a Cow, an illustrated talk from the Aldemir Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red Ribbon. Soren D. Stratovolcanoes, an illustrated talk from the Cobscook Currents 4-H Club in Washington County. Blue Ribbon. Sabrina D. Polish Chickens, an illustrated talk from the Jolly Farmers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red Ribbon. Abe H. How to Take Care of Red-Eared Slider Turtles, an illustrated talk from the Packa Pals 4-H Club in Aroostook County. Red Ribbon. Lydia H. All About Thoroughbred Horses, an illustrated talk from the Packa Pals 4-H Club in Aroostook County. Blue Ribbon. Adrian L. Returns and what they do to the environment. An illustrated talk from the Nature Kids 4-H Club in York County. Red Ribbon. Nayeli M. Laredo's Blackbird, The Amazing Life of Jovita Idar, an illustrated talk, independent member from Hancock County. Red Ribbon. Scout W, Civil Air Patrol, an illustrated talk from the Glee of Maine 4-H Club, in Androscoggin and Sagadahawk counties. Blue Ribbon. Summit W, Coding, Past, Present, Future, an illustrated talk from the Glee of Maine 4-H Club in Androscoggin, Sagadahawk counties. Blue Ribbon. This year, we had one senior enter into the non-competitive division. Brittany J, Maine Food Insecurity, an illustrated talk from the Aldemir Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. For her dedication to public speaking, we award her with a green ribbon. And moving on now to the seniors division. Julia B, the story of Malala Yousafzai, an illustrated talk from the Aldemir Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Blue Ribbon. Anthony D. A Bite About Chocolate, an illustrated talk from the Jolly Farmers 4-H Club 
in Knox Lincoln counties. Red ribbon. Jeremy D. Some assembly required. An illustrated talk from the Jolly Farmers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red ribbon. Nathaniel D. Fire it up. The tale of America's first mid-engine car. An illustrated talk from the Jolly Farmers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red ribbon. Adam E. How to make a cutting board. A demonstration from the Aldermere Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Blue ribbon. Elizabeth E. Why Eat Beef? An illustrated talk from the Aldermere Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red ribbon. Maddie G. and Nathaniel D. Too Cool for School. A team illustrated talk from the Andy Sag Teen Council and Jolly Farmers 4-H Club from Andy Sag and Knox Lincoln counties. Blue ribbon. Maddie G, The Language of Love, an illustrated talk from the Andy Sag 4-H Teen Council in Androscoggin, Sagadahawk counties. Blue ribbon. Sarah H, The Legacy of a Sharpshooter Woman, an illustrated talk from the Andy Sag 4-H Teen Council in Androscoggin, Sagadahawk counties. Red ribbon. Jordan O, Bowling, Candle Pin versus 10 Pin, an illustrated talk from the Aldermere Achievers 4-H Club in Knox Lincoln counties. Red ribbon. Eliza R. Spooked, Eerie Folklore of Maine, an illustrated talk from the Penobscot Valley Homeschool Adventurers 4-H Club in Penobscot County. Blue Ribbon. Next, I am excited to announce the junior division top scorers. In third place, Lydia H, all about thoroughbred horses. In second place, Summit W, coding past, present, future. And in first place, there was a tie between Scout W for Civil Air Patrol and Soren D for Strato Volcanoes. Now onto the senior top scorers. In third place, Maddie G and Nathaniel D, too cool for school. In second place, Maddie G, The Language of Love. And in first place, Julia B, The Story of Malala Yousafzai. And now I'm excited to announce this year's overall top score, which is actually another tie. Let's give it up for Soren D and Scout 
W. The main 4-H communication science team is a group of youth aged 12 to 18 representing the main 4-H public speaking program. Youth are chosen for the team at the state public speaking tournament each year and will deliver public presentations throughout the year on behalf of Maine 4-H. This year, the team will have the opportunity to compete at the 4-H Northeast States Presentation Fest. This year, we have chosen eight team members with two alternates. The members of the 2021 Communication Science Team are Scout W from Andy Sag, Julia B from Knox Lincoln, Maddie G from Andy Sag, Adam E from Knox Lincoln, Eliza R from Penobscot, Nathaniel D from Knox Lincoln, Elizabeth E. from Knox Lincoln. Sarah H. from Andy Sag. And our two alternates are Jordan O. from Knox Lincoln and Jeremy D. from Knox Lincoln. Let's give it up for the main 4-H communication science team. 4-H staff will be in touch with you soon about this opportunity. And let's say congratulations and a big virtual round of applause for all of the main 4-H public speakers. Congratulations. We want to send a really big thank you to everyone who made this event possible. All of the judges and virtual event volunteers, the members of the public speaking committee, and special thanks for financial support from the Maine 4-H Foundation. Lastly, we really are interested in your feedback. There will be a link posted in the chat box. Um, and if you're watching from YouTube, there's a link in the video description. Please share your feedback with us about this virtual event, event so we can hear about your experience. And that concludes the award ceremony for the eighth annual 4-H public speaking tournament. Thank you for joining us and we can't wait to see you next year. For the long way round Two bottles of whiskey for the way And I sure would like some sweet company And I'm leaving tomorrow In my mind I'm running around a cold and empty space Just put your arms around me, tell me
getting a little crazy I've been getting a little lazy Waiting you to come save me I can see that you're laying By the way that you treat me Hopefully you don't need me If you wanna be my